Welcome to my weekly market roundup, 8th September 2019. I am Sagar I am the designer and developer of Q trading systems and techniques. I used to work in IT, mostly in Singapore. I have retired about 6 years ago. Nowadays I am living in Thailand. Mostly I trade stocks, short term trading. I regularly follow my stock analysis and market analysis in the Traders Forum and also on the Twitter page and YouTube channel. Before I begin, let me go through the disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on the trading system and technique I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual, in today's topics, I will analyze oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. Then I will try to identify potential trading opportunities using a complete 360 degrees analysis. That is, I first look at the market using technical analysis of the market ETFs. If the market is bullish, then I tend to look for buying opportunities and if the market is bearish, I tend to look for shorting opportunities. In addition to aligning the trades with the market's direction, I like to align them with the industry strength. If the market is bullish, I am going to look for strong industries and if market is bearish, I am going to look for weak industries. I will study industry strength using scorecard and heat map. Once that is done, I look at the stock's fundamentals. For bullish trades, I look for fundamental strength in terms of growth or valuation. And if the market is bearish, I am looking for bearish opportunities. Then I look for weak fundamentals in terms of same growth and valuation. I study that using scorecard for the stocks. And lastly, in this top down analysis, I wait for a low risk entry point, buy point for long opportunity and short point for bearish opportunity. I carry out this top down analysis and when I find an opportunity, I have all the forces aligned with that opportunity. Forces from the market level, sector industry level, fundamental level, as well as technical level. These are the opportunities that I call 360 degrees opportunities. They tend to give real high probability and low risk trading opportunities. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let me move on to the live system. I begin the commodities analysis with oil. I am looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on or entry chart template. Together I call this at a glance template because using this template you can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the previous market roundup, I mentioned that oil was moving inside a triangle pattern in the weekly chart bound by the resistance memory trend line at the top and support memory trend line at the bottom. I mentioned that unless oil can break out of this triangle pattern, you may not take any swing trade in USO. I am continuing with the same view. USO is remaining inside the triangle pattern in the weekly chart. 
in the daily chart it is staying inside a narrow range it is bound by memory resistance trend line at the top and support watermark level at the bottom unless it can break out of this narrow range you may not take any swing trade in oil gold etf gld in the last market roundup looking at the bearish headwind signal in the daily chart i mentioned that if you had a long position in gld you might book profit or protect profit using trailing stop on this week thursday it displayed another bearish headwind signal and friday price dropped little bit the traffic light candle color has turned bearish red in the daily chart in the weekly chart one week ago the candle shape was indecisive and the candle color turned neutral yellow this week the candle color and shape both turned bearish price was at price extreme high or pendulum high even in the weekly chart this week price reversed that is shown by the reversal band indicator that shows that price tried to go up above the high of the previous week but reversed and closed below previous week it gave us a reversal candle at price extreme high this is not the time to take new long trade in gld if you are holding a long position you may book profit or protect profit using trailing stop there is no short opportunity as well in gold from commodities analysis i move on to market analysis using the market etfs this is s&p 500 etf spy in the weekly chart two weeks ago price stopped right at the memory support line one week ago it reversed from the memory support line it was still inside a range this week it has broken out of the range in the weekly chart the weekly backdrop candle color and shape both are bullish in the daily chart price has broken out of the range it was supported by memory trend line from there it went up and broke out of the range i am not a fan of breakout trades unless the breakout gives me a low risk entry opportunity in this case i don't see a low risk entry opportunity in spy as a breakout trade price is also overbought as shown by the stretch band indicator it is bullish the weekly is also bullish and the daily broke out of narrow range what i may do now is look for a pull back and then price to go up again giving me the swing low that is a low risk entry opportunity that will most likely be a go with flow trend following long trade setup you may keep an eye for that Nasdaq 100 ETF QQQ a similar picture in the weekly price reversed from the memory support trend line that's why queue traders take this support seriously this week it moved out of the narrow range in the weekly chart and the week ended with bullish shape and bullish color in the daily it has broken out of the narrow range i may now wait for a dip in price and then price to go up again giving me a low risk go with flow trend following long trade setup dow jones industrial average etf dia this also broke out of the narrow range in the weekly chart the weekend did with bullish shape and bullish color in the daily price broke out of the narrow range 
Now you may wait for a pullback and then price to go up again, giving a go with flow trend following long trade setup. Russell 2000 ETF IWM. I have been mentioning in many market roundups that this was the weakest of the four market ETFs and I am maintaining that view this week as well. The weekly chart shows that it couldn't break out of the range bound pattern and the weekly candle color couldn't turn cyan bullish like the other ETFs. It is remaining yellow that is neutral. The daily is also not able to go above the yellow direction line or the white direction line. If the market drops from here then IWM may give the easier shorting opportunity than the other market ETFs. The market level is bullish and you will see the same picture from the sector level analysis. This is one month sector performance analysis. I am looking at the sectors across three review periods. The red bar represents performance of the current week, previous five days. The green bar, five days before that and the blue bars, two weeks before the green bars. Together they represent about one month of sector performance. Any bar coming to the right of the zero point shows the sector went up. Any bar coming to the left of the zero point shows the sector went down. Most of the green bars are to the left of the zero line showing one week ago the sectors went down. However, this week all the sectors are to the right of the zero line showing all the sectors reversed. They turn bullish. The sector level snapshot is also showing bullishness in the market. The one month sector performance graph shows snapshot of the sector's performance across three points in time. That is not enough to see how the sectors are strengthening and weakening. That sector rotation is clearer from this sector scorecard and heat map, where you can look at the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently in recent periods, 10 day period, 5 day period, etc. Cyan represents strength and magenta represents weakness. Looking at this heat map, you can immediately see that energy was weak for a long time. It was the worst performing sector across many review periods. The color was magenta and in recent periods across 10 day and 5 day periods, it is strengthening. The heat map clearly shows not only which sectors are strong now, but also the transition from strength to weakness or weakness to strength as in the case of energy. Which sectors are strongest now? They are information technology and consumer discretionary. They have the highest score. They are in cyan color under the five day period. If you are looking for buying opportunities, you may look for them in infotech and consumer discretionary. Which are the weakest sectors? They are utilities and healthcare. They were stronger earlier. Now they are not the strongest. If you took a long position in these sectors earlier, you may be having significant profit. Now it is starting to weaken. You may book profit or at least protect profit using trailing stock. That is how you can use this sector scorecard and heat map. You may also use the pace column which shows acceleration, deceleration. You can see Infotech accelerated this week. Interestingly, consumer staples also accelerated. 
you may look for buy setups in Infotech or consumer staples as well. In case of consumer staples, you will be using acceleration to look for buy setups. As I tend to say, sector level is quite broad. To make more accurate trading decisions, you may drill down into the industry level and buy into industry strength or in accelerating industries. And if you are looking for shorting opportunities, you may look for them in weak industries or in industries that are decelerating. Let me show you how you could use this sector rotation information to identify potential trades much ahead of others. You can see that energy was weak earlier, the worst performing sector, but it is strengthening now. You could see this change in strength happening in real time from this sector rotation analysis tool. I share regular market and stock analysis in the forum page saganandi.com on my Twitter page twitter.com saganandi and I also regularly share YouTube videos in the trading profitably channel youtube.com slash slash trading profitably. Every week on Wednesday, I conduct a live market analysis webinar. It is open to the public. You may register for the webinar from this webinar menu on the page sagarnandi.com. Why I am telling this? In the last Wednesday's live market meet webinar, I discussed a stock, an energy stock, at that time, using live sector industry rotation analysis, I saw that energy was starting to strengthen at that time itself. And then by drilling down, I identified this stock, AROC. On that Wednesday, it gave us a trend following go with flow long trade setup. The daily recovered from the lows, pull back little bit, created a higher low and gave us a cyan color candle in the daily chart. That gave a go with flow trend following long trade setup. And I identified this trade right on that day using the Q360 degrees analysis. Your entry point would be at the close of that candle. If you use real-time chart, you could make an entry somewhere in the middle of the candle. Your stop loss would be just below recent low at this point. And on this Thursday, it hit the upper boundary level. By that time, the trade covered more distance than the risk taken in the trade. And following Q guideline, you would book at least partial profit in the trade. You might book full profit as well. How to decide whether to book full profit or partial profit? My guideline is, if the industry is continuing to be strong, if the technicals are strong and fundamentals are also continuing to be strong, then no need to exit full position. Exit partial position with discipline after trailing stop on the remaining position in a way that the entire trade is guaranteed risk free from that point onward and try to let profit run shifting the trailing stop higher and higher if price continues to go up in that way you are able to book profit on partial position take some money off the table and also try to let profit run at the same time However, if the stock is already overvalued in terms of fundamentals or if the industry is starting to decline, then my guideline is that no need to be greedy. Exit the full position with profit at the planned initial profit target.
Coming back to the sector rotation analysis, Infotech and consumer discretionary are the strongest sectors now. Infotech was strong for a long time. You may still look for buy setups. However, those will most likely be buy setups in a continuing uptrend. Whereas consumer discretionary was weak earlier. The score was in magenta color. Now it is strengthening. You may look for value buying opportunities. Stocks that were in a downtrend just now starting to go up. Just as the industry and the sector are also starting to go up. When I drill down into the industry level and look at the industry scorecard and heat map, I am looking at the 10 best performing industries now. You can see several of them are in consumer discretionary. In fact, 5 of them, 5 of the 10 best performing industries this week are in consumer discretionary and all those were weak earlier. Energy industry, oil and gas drilling, it was also weak earlier and it became the best performing industry this week. You may look for buy setups in this oil and gas drilling industry or you could look for buy setups in consumer discretionary industries. Let me go to the sector level and drill down into only the consumer discretionary industries. Sort them by this week's performance from strongest to weakest. And these are the industries that you may focus on for buying opportunities. From auto parts and equipment to computer and electronics retail. They were weaker earlier. The score was in magenta color and this week they all turned into strength. Next step. You may drill down into the stocks of these industries and then look for value buying opportunities using the smart filter that is undervalued stocks. Because the industries were weak for a long time, you may be able to find several undervalued stocks as we can see here. Further, you may Look for stocks that are showing earnings improvement as well. You can find at least three stocks which are undervalued now in consumer discretionary sector and they are also showing earnings acceleration. You may look for buying opportunities in them or you may look for buying opportunity in any of the other undervalued stocks as well. Let us focus on these stocks, Sketchers, that is at the top of this list, the undervalued stock in one of the improving industries. Which industry does it belong to? Footwear. If we go back to the industry scorecard, look at footwear, we can see that it was weak earlier. It is starting to improve for some time now. Over 10 days, over last two weeks also, it was one of the best performers and this week it is also one of the best performers. The stock is undervalued stock with earnings growth. These are the kinds of stocks that I like to buy. Stocks that are undervalued showing earnings growth and starting to go up as the industry is also improving. Let me look at its technical charts. This is Sketchers SKX using the Q at a glance weekly daily chart template. In the weekly chart, price is making higher low and higher high and it is going up. This week's backdrop candle color and shape both are bullish. 
price started to go up one week earlier just as the market was also starting to reverse. You remember SPY, QQQ, DIA all reversed from their respective weekly memory trend line support. At that time SKX also reversed. As the market continued to go up, SKX also went up and it is outperforming the market that is shown by the relative performance line in weekly as well as in the daily chart that is tilting upward. When could you take a long position? You could take the long position probably looking at the bullish headwind signal that is the possible reversal signal in the daily chart. Earlier price was in a downtrend. Then after this bullish headwind, price went up. The bullish headwind here could catch the very bottom. Why could you take the long trade at that point? Because the industry was also starting to go up and the market also reversed at the same time. Now price has gone up and it has hit the upper boundary level. It is overbought shown by the stretch band indicator. If you didn't take a long trade earlier, I would not suggest taking a long trade now. Instead, you may wait for a pullback, create a higher low in the daily chart and then for price to go up again, giving the next trend following go with flow long trade setup. If you want to see more such 360 degrees analysis of stocks like AROC in energy industry like SKX Sketchers in footwear industry, you may follow the analysis I share both for the USA market as well as India market in the forum saganandi.com and also follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the YouTube videos. I will carry out more live analysis of stocks looking for trading opportunities in the next weekly market roundup coming Wednesday. You may register for that from the webinar menu on my forum page saganandi.com. Let me finish today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in my next session and also in the live market meet. Have a great week and trade profitably.